Hey guys, what's up? Firstly, thank you so much, Jdred, for subscribing for two months. Thank you very much. Great way to start off the stream. Anyway, so this is GS Mikami, aka Ghost Sweeper Mikami. I don't know anything about it, but Savage Caius, who's in here now, uh, recommended this when I was doing one of my streams where I'm just going through um, Super Nintendo games on my EverDrive, and I really liked it. So this is going to be me playing it, dedicating a stream to it, and let's see how far we get and how I like it. And I just realized I was filming something earlier in another room, and my light isn't here, but I think it looks okay without my light, so. Hey guys! <laughs> How's my evening going? It's alright. Right now, so I do this thing where it's like, sometimes it's harder for me to, um, get in the mindset to film videos and it's easier to stream. But now, it's flipped, where now I feel like it's harder for me to stream and easier for me to film videos, which is crazy, because for the longest time I was like dreading filming a video because I was just like, I don't know what to do, or I would just like have to repeat myself over and over again because like I can't talk, and it's just like... <laughs> so, sorry, I didn't stream yesterday, but... Thank you, Shishi. Yeah, I kind of like the lighting with the lights. It's kind of like, it's kind of cozy. What's with the red-headed dominatrix? Well, I don't know, but she's... She kills ghosts, I think. Does anybody know about this? I think it's an anime also. I don't know anything about it. I just think the game was cool when we tried it out. Alright, so there's a lot of you in here right now. I'll stop... Dawdling. Isn't this cute? Look how cute she looks. I like it. Maybe I'm just, like, you know... Biased because she has red hair. Alright. <clears throat> Let's try this out. Well, I already tried it out, but... You know what I mean. I forget what the options are. Let's do easy because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Did that work? Oh, uh, yes, you hear my... <laughs> You've played this, Zero? Okay. So, you like it? I really, uh, liked what I played. That being said, though, I played it for, like, two minutes because we had to, like, do things. Yeah, I'm using a new camera, Shishi. So much has changed. <laughs> hey, Monger Face. Yeah, new camera, so Mike and I no longer have to share cameras. Ah! Okay. So that's your, like, mega awesome attack. So that's like your bomb or whatever. Ah! So we're hitting these little cotton candy ghosts. I forget. Okay. So we're gonna have to climb some things. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what that does. Oh, that's what it does. Okay. Oh, look at this. Do I have to sw hit this? Hmm. There we go. See, those ghosts look so nice. I don't want to whip them. Oh, cake. So I think that was health. Ah! I don't like those guys. They remind me of, uh, something from Castlevania. Those, I forget what game it is. Which Castlevania game, but those, like, maids that float in the air. Hey, Cherry Bonds. Hey, Anna Gosan. There's so many of you guys in here. This is deaf at 80s and 90s anime when the girls had big old titties. Well, in anime, don't the girls always have big old titties? <laughs> Isn't that just like a fact? Mmm. 
Okay, so you can't get to the ending on easy, but it helps for learning levels. Okay, well, that's good to know. I don't, I didn't think I was going to beat it this stream. They have bigger titties back then. Oh, I see. Somebody called me Aaron with an A in the chat, and I don't know if they're doing it to be shitty or if they just didn't know how to spell my name. Sometimes I'm like, I need to remind myself. It's like I'm always really on guard, and I'm like, sometimes people don't mean anything, Aaron. Calm down. <laughs> so now we're on a train from hell with a bunch of ghosts. I think, okay, so we stopped around here when I was trying out different games. Ah, that hand! Palpatine's hand. When, okay, when can I talk about Star Wars, like the new one, without people, like, bitching about spoilers? It's been out for, like, a while. Can I talk about it? Because the part I want to talk about isn't even, like, a spoiler. It's just stupid. So I don't want to get, like, somebody mad about Star Wars. People get mad about everything, so... Ah! Ah! Okay, so so far this part is pretty repetitive. But I think, uh, we have to start, like, choosing routes and stuff. So that's where shit gets different! Let me see what you guys say. Am I going back to SoCal Expo? I still need to figure that out. I don't know. Oh, okay, Cherry Bomb. I figured. Hey, Retro K. That's true, Enchanted. I'm aware of that. Hey Marty. You're seeing Frozen the musical? That's awesome games and movies. I'm so jealous. I love Frozen too. I thought it was so good. I loved it. I liked it more than the first one. But anyway about Star Wars. So I'm just gonna say it because it's not even a um it's not even a spoiler. So basically there's this part and I laughed out loud. Like I was the only I was the only person in the theater who laughed. Our theater was like dead silent. So they're like running away from stormtroopers and there's like a stormtrooper on like a some vehicle and then he just shoots off of it and flies like with a jetpack. And I laughed really hard because <laughs> it struck me off guard. That's the part where like Flynn turns around, Finn, whatever, turns around, he's like, they fly now? <laughs> and I was just like, like you just like I wasn't expecting it. Like they're just driving and all of a sudden a stormtrooper goes, Boo! <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was just, I don't know. <laughs> that's what I wanted, that's all I wanted to say about the new Star Wars movie. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's funny to me. Boo! Oh, wait, wait. Okay, so now I get to decide which direction I want to go. Also, I was at Kohl's, one last thing about Star Wars, and I think you can buy a toy based off that scene where this, you can shoot stormtroopers off of something. But it was like during Christmas time, and I was just like, it was really busy, and I was like, I don't know. But I kind of want to look it up and see if that really is a thing, because I might have to get it, just because that's really funny, if it's true, that they based a toy on the fact that stormtroopers now have fucking jetpacks. I don't even care about Star Wars, like, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. So, like, you know, I'm not one of the people that, like, have a lot to say about it. It's, oh, look at that! I just think that part was really funny. What is that? Have I seen Mad Max Fury, Fury Road? I have! I have. I thought 
thought that was good. I don't watch a lot of movies, so when I do see a movie, it's like, oh. Lately, I've been going to see more, uh, new newer movies. Oh, I re okay, so we did get this far. Ah. And if I'm not talking a ton, it's because my asthma has been shitty. It's always something lately. Maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited because it's like I have more ideas lately about um, content to do that doesn't take so long to edit. Um, so, you know, I'll, mostly I'll be doing the same air and play stuff, but I'm adding some other little types of videos. And I'm really excited. We'll see what happens. You don't know until you try, right? Thank you so much, Santi714, for subscribing for 17 months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Do I know this is based on an anime of the same name? Um, I figured it was based on an anime, Billy, but I don't know anything about it. I thought this was Jessica Rabbit for some reason. I wish there was a Jessica Rabbit game. Wouldn't that be badass? That's what we need. Why? Well, I, I want a Jessica Rabbit platformer. Wouldn't that be awesome? I think that would be awesome. Everyone would play it. Aaron is more of a high school DXD fan. Is that an anime? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I almost thought it said D&D, &D, and I'm like, I didn't play D&D &D in high school. I, I didn't play it till a few years ago, and I learned it was not for me. Oh, jeez. It's a really perverted anime. Great. <laughs> hey, Jamie. You played this, but you had no idea what it was. It looks cute. I mean, the anime might be interesting if it's about ghost hunting. I don't know. Yeah, if anybody in the chat knows what it's about, let me know. Because it seems like not a lot of people know about it. But yeah, I'm debating on finishing um, Dracula's Curse with Grant. I don't think it's gonna happen. And I feel like maybe I talked about this last time. I'm kind of spacey right now, so I'm kind of just saying my thoughts out loud. But um, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do with that. I think you guys are over it. Maybe not, but I feel like I need a break from that game. I don't know. Honestly, this is what I think I should do, and I apologize if I've already talked about this on stream. Um, I think, okay, I think with Dracula's Curse, I think maybe, I think, I think I want to do the Cypher Path without the extra life code. And then I'll do Alucard with the 10 life code because that's going to be brutal and I don't care if people can talk shit if I use the code, but if I'm playing the Alucard path, I'm using the goddamn code. <laughs> that's funny games and movies. <laughs> 
It's a good anime comedy action. Okay, cool. It's about a group of exorcists fighting spirits and such. Okay. Yeah, I should, Shishi. Thank you, Magneto. <laughs> Play it as you want. That's true. I, I get in moods where sometimes it's like if I hear somebody saying anything, I get like really just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do this and this, and I'm just like, who cares? Like, I'll just do what I want. Like, you're not, you're, I'm never gonna please everybody, and I never expected to, you know. Just every once in a while, shit gets on my nerves, because I'm human, you know? But yeah. Anyway, look at this fish. That cake looks so good. How come video game food always looks like so cute and delightful? And they always like use cute cakes and stuff. Get up there. I forget. Okay, there. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh shit. I'm really sloppy. Okay, there we go. Also, they look like honey pots. It's about, okay, more about this anime. It's about two girls who keep having bad luck and get killed, but they are brought back to life in every episode. That's interesting. Alex Froth says, I would have been exercised if I lived in medieval Europe. We probably all would have been exercised. <laughs> when she flips up, it's very satisfying. I like it. Magneto says, I always want to eat the pork chop in Castlevania. Yeah, like I wonder if it's like magical, so it's like a fresh pork chop. Or if it's just like what you would think meat that has been inside of a wall would taste like. Hey George, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, this game is very cool, uh, Dave. So far it's cool. <laughs> That's funny, Shishi. <laughs> Thank you, Chainman. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go. I, I was so mad the other day when I, like, my voice was gone. And that, it hasn't happened to me. I, like, never lose my voice. And I was at a restaurant ordering, and I realized, like, oh, she's having a hard time, like, hearing what I'm saying. And I'm like, I lost my voice. <clears throat> Ooh. Ah, shoot. I like that- Oh, I like that little devil guy. Whoa, what was that green thing that just fell down? I liked that little- Wait, what am I even talking about? I liked the little purple bat guys. There's too many- There's too much things. Too much thing- Too many things help me. I can't speak anymore. <laughs> I can't say words right. My voice is going. Like, what's wrong? <laughs> Maybe wall meat is just preserved jerky of some kind? Thank you, George. Yeah, I always like discovering new games. New retro games. There's just such a big library. That's why I think it's funny when, like, people that don't understand how you can focus on retro games. It's like there's just so much to discover and learn about that it's, like, it's really fun. It's like I keep finding new games that are new to me, you know? Hey, HGH. -H. Aaron, up an attack like has like a high swipe that helps. Okay, I'll try that. I never found rare games at thrift stores. Me neither. Oh, oh, cool. Thank you, Savage Guys.
That's a really good attack. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go up here. Yay! <clears throat> oh my god, that attack is so much better! Whoa! Uh oh. I don't know, from what you guys are telling me about this anime, I'd probably actually watch it. And I'm not a big anime person. <laughs> but I like the vibe of this, if it's anything like the game. Thank you so much, Super Jeff, for subscribing for 13 months! Thank you very much, how have you been? Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. There's so much to talk about. <laughs> I was gonna talk about finding retro games at thrift stores. I never had luck. One time at a Salvation Army, I found some uh, in the box in television games, but they were asking like so much money for them at Salvation Army. And I was like, no, I'm not buying that. Drink some t hot tea with honey. I, I've been thinking about that. I might do that when I take a break. What do I think so far? I like it. I think it's a really fun game. It's different. I like it. But, um, yeah, I never find games. Like, you find, like, Wii games. Like, the last time I went to a thrift store, it was just a bunch of, like, Wii yoga. Like, Wii Fit. Oh my god! That looks exactly like the little doll from Rondo of Blood! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at her nails! Okay, so we hit her hands. Oh god! Oh shit. <clears throat> oh my goodness, another subscription. Thank you, I'll check in a second. Oh no, look how cute she is when she dies! She's so cute when she gets hit. <coughs> um, Maria, yeah! No, it's not Maria. There's like a part, I don't, maybe it's not... Um, Rondo. It's something where there's like these little dolls and then they fly up and attack. I'm not talking about Maria. Oh, high speed gamer. That's right. Uh, thank you so much, Jay the Dev, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank you. And thank you, Ninfan, for subscribing for 16 months. No, one second. I think I missed one thing. Okay, I, oh. Allie, where'd you go? You say, I started this game a while back, but haven't gotten super far into it. How do you like it? I really like it. And hello, by the way. Um, I'm pretty, you know, we're in the beginning, so, but I like it so far. <clears throat> a hot toddy? I've never had a hot toddy. But yeah, if I can think of which Castlevania game I'm talking about and which level and find a picture of the little doll enemy I'm thinking about, I will post it on Twitter. I'm not crazy. It's a thing. Ah! I don't know why I did that. I just want to see what would happen. Ah! This boss has nice nails, though. So give her that. <clears throat> Okay, we got rid of one hand. Yay! <gasps> oh, 
I thought she was gonna like blow up or something. She just kind of fizzled away. A hot toddy is alcoholic. The drop shaped special sort of stunlocks enemies. The drop shaped special? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Maybe Castlevania Chronicles level? Yeah, it might have been uh, Chronicles. Willy Rook. <clears throat> oh my god, what's happening here? <gasps> oh no, did we just get turned into a tiny little thing? Ooh. Ooh, we have a different dress now. Oh my god. We're tiny and we're on a cat. It's like Poochie. Poochie from, um, Yoshi's Story and all the Yoshi games. Oh no, Hornets! Oh, you can't- I thought you couldn't control going back and forth. I was like... Ah! Ah! We're not doing too good. Ah, I keep missing the honey pots. No! Poochie's dead! Poochie's not dead! I love Poochie! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Thank you very much for subscribing. I'll see who that was in a minute. I, uh. Yeah, fuckers. What are these? Fart clouds? Sounds like Mike's having a good time. Ah! Ah! Oh god, they're coming from behind now. that gate. <laughs> Thank you so much Cherry Bonds for subscribing uh, for three months. Thank you very much. I will be sure to do that. <laughs> Pretty tough for easy. Yeah. It's just, I gotta get used to it. It's not that tough, but. Yeah, that screen is cute. This is adorable. And yes, I will continue. <clears throat> Alright, let's try this again. I feel like the down, the pressing up an attack is like way better than the normal attack for almost every situation.
now they're coming from behind. Ah! Damn! Not at the very beginning again. Was that somewhere on Cartoon Network? I don't think so. <clears throat> I didn't really watch Toonami though. Like, I remember watching Sailor Moon on it a little bit. And then I kind of just fell off, which sucks. Because now I gotta play catch up on the Sailor Moon. Because I think I've talked about this before, but like, I was obsessed with Sailor Moon as a kid. When it was like, it. Not a lot of it was translated into English yet. And then by the time I was in middle school, which was like 2000, 2001, um, I think that's when it was on Toonami. And um, I like kind of fell off, which sucks. Like I stayed interested in the toys. I don't know, I'm not explaining myself well right now, but like, basically now I'm getting the urge to like, cap to like, watch it again. And like watch more than like watch everything I missed. And now there's like the new crystal series and stuff. It's just there's so much now. I'm like I don't know where to start. I got my Doom Tree series VHS collection. Oh, god. oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh my god, no! I need to get better at jumping and like attacking. At first, they only had the the Dick series, which didn't even finish art. Yeah, see, that's what I. That's what I saw. Hi, Dorcas Merklin. This is challenging. Yeah, this level's a bitch. Rom says his balls stink. Yeah, I have one of the DVD collections. Um, I don't remember which one. I have like a lot of random Sailor Moon DVDs. Like, older ones. And I, and I think some of them are like bootleg. <laughs> Game's good. This level is a little tricky. Have I seen the new one? No. Isn't that Crystal? I haven't seen it yet. No. I- I want to. I also want to watch the live action one. I never saw that. <clears throat> and I know some people are like really into it. This level goes on so long. Maybe it just feels long because I suck and I gotta get good. Fuck. This cat's cute. I remember that because I remember I, I remember when they did that whole like oh they're cousins thing on Sailor Moon but I was like I remember telling people in class like no they're not and then I'd show like my like random like Sailor Moon things where it's like obvious like that's not the case <laughs> and people were like oh my god I don't know anything about card capture Sakura <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, William Patrick. Okay, let me see. Alright, so I'm gonna keep trying. Um, this probably will only be like an hour or so stream. But, um, I'm gonna keep going. I don't know what I was gonna say. <sighs> Kissing cousins just like the Elvis movie. <laughs> Normal mode has a password system? Oh, so this version doesn't. The easy mode? Okay. Well, that's good to know. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna play this on my own, like, on my own, not on stream. Uh, on normal mode, because obviously I practice it, and then see if I can get further and then take it from there. just really bothering me. Why do all the bugs hate us? What did we do? Oh shit. Oh my god, there's birds everywhere. Jump into the things, Aaron. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die a horrible death. Oh my god, did we do it? Yeah! One HP, Aaron! Strikes again! Hey, Mega Dan! Sailor Uranus! I remember all the boys in class would be like, I like Sailor Uranus, get it? That's what I remember about third grade. And then they'd ask me to draw them Dragon Ball Z characters. You don't get it? Well, Sailor Uranus, they think is funny because the word Uranus sounds like you're saying your anus. And that is what they liked. I know, I'm just joking, Luke. Would I ever wear a dress like that? I'd wear her purple one. I think I like the purple one better than the silver one. Those tall Sailor? Are you talking about Sailor Pluto? Cool, so I don't know what that was. Hopefully that wasn't a password. Wait! 
What just happened? Did I screw up? Did I press the wrong thing? That's as far as you can get in easy mode? Oh my god, they don't let you get that far at all. I mean, that's fine, it lets you learn the game. That's weird, though. Do some Sega games have that, where you can only get so far in easy mode? That's interesting. Okay, well... Cause I know Savage Kai has mentioned that you can't finish the game on easy, but I thought like you could at least go like far enough for a full stream. My voice is really going, I'm sorry guys. Hey gamer babe. Okay, so now we're gonna try it on normal mode and see how long I last and then see how long my voice lasts. I'm probably not gonna go too long because I can't totally lose my voice. It's so annoying. Okay, let's try it. Wait, actually, I need to get some more water. So I'm gonna take a really quick break and then we're gonna come back and do some more. Aaron, please play some of the classic Disney games on Sega like Aladdin or Lion King. Beauty and the Beast, War of the Beast is an amazing game, but I never beat it, it was that hard. Is War of the Beast the same as the Beauty and the Beast Super Nintendo Pell game? Um, and Lion King, I do want to try on Genesis because I grew up with the Super Nintendo one and I can never get very far in it. And then when Mike was streaming it, people were like, oh, this Genesis version is better, like control wise. So I might have to try it on Genesis to see the difference, but that game kicks my ass. <sighs> um, Triumph Shockwave subscribed for three months. Thank you very much! And he says, have you played the Sailor Moon games on Super Nintendo? Yes. Yes. Um, I owned one of the beat-em-ups as a kid, and now I'm collecting, like, I'm trying to get all the Sailor Moon games, but yes, I've played a lot of Sailor Moon games. <sighs> What's my favorite Contra game? Probably Super C, but I also really like the first one, but probably Super C. Yes, Mike was playing Lion King Genesis. The Genesis games are always better than the SNES ones. Okay, see I knew that was the case with Aladdin, but I didn't know that was the case with Lion King. Hey DJ. <sighs> I'm taking a tea break really fast. Because now I can talk again. The Jungle Book I've never played, but um, I played Aladdin on Super Nintendo and Lion King on Super Nintendo. I have played Aladdin on Genesis and I agree it's better because you have the sword. Um, Lion King though I haven't yet tried out on Genesis. You can't have a stampede of wildebeest without blast processing. <laughs> That's very true, Girls Cuck It. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I do want to do more Sailor Moon stuff coming up. Ginger Spice as a Ghostbuster? She's kind of Ginger Spice. How am I? I'm okay. My voice is kind of going, but I'm good. How are you? <sighs> Alright, so this is what happened if you're just joining. Apparently you can't get too far on um, easy mode, so now we're going to do it on normal mode. Which is fine. I just did easy mode first to see what the game was like, but now we're gonna do normal mode and see how much harder that is. Ginger crossed with Posh. That's a very astute observation, Shishi. Did I check if any versions of this on the EverDrive were translated? Um, I didn't, but they all seem to be in Japanese. Like, it had the, the region as uh, Japan and all of them, so. Have I ever played Death Smiles? Um, that's a game I want to play. I saw... Have I actually played it? No, I haven't, but I do want to play Death Smiles because that looks really fun. 
I'm glad you reminded me of that. I'm going to write that down. Death smiles. Thank you, Gross Cocket. Yeah, that is totally up my alley. This game is called G.S. Mikami. And we are playing it. And I don't know anything about the anime. <laughs> Report 1. Death Smiles was done by Cave. Yes, Cave does really good shooters. Schmups, whatever you want to call them. Ah! I don't think on easy his body rips apart like that. I think he just goes away. Or do the. I don't know. I don't remember the walking legs, that's terrifying. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, are those, is that a giant water fountain? Um, so you know what's interesting? It's like, malls don't have fountains anymore. But like, every once in a while, I find a mall with a fountain, and I'm like, ooh. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but here we are. Would I wear a dress like that? If so, a color? I'd wear a dress like that, maybe, if it was flattering. I, I, if, if it didn't make me feel uncomfortable, I would wear this dress, because I really like the color. I like wearing, like, mustard, yellow, or purple, or, like, dark green. But yeah, I like this dress. I would wear it, but I don't know what wear dresses. I'm wearing a dress right now, but, like, a dress like this? Like, where the hell would I wear it? I should be like really extra and show up at a con like that. People would be like, "Who's who does this bitch think she is?" <laughs> and they'd be have every right to think that. <laughs> I couldn't walk in those heels though. I'm bad at that. You made so many wishes and small fountains as a kid. It was not fun to do. Got some peeping toms over here opening up doors. Creepy deepies. This is like a double-decker bus or something. Thank you so much, Jdred, for gifting a sub to Rain Rama. Thank you so much. Hey, Elraz, what's up? <laughs> That's awful games and movies. I haven't seen the live-action Lion King. I saw live-action Aladdin. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, um, but I didn't love it. Um, but yeah. 
Lion King, I just, I just didn't want to see that. I love the original Lion King, I just... Oh, shoot. When are you and Mike going to stream again? We love when you do. Oh, like together? Um, sometime soon. Hey, DJ. Hey, Iron Ocean. Happy birthday. Hope you're having a good one. Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> Gotta complete Zelda 2 with Mike. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> we'll see. Mario Maker 2 and the troll levels. That'd be fun. Yeah, I should. I was thinking about Mario Maker 2. <sighs> I haven't had the urge to draw in like a long time, and I kind of want to try to draw her. Lately, I've been having the urge to draw again. I used to draw a lot. Um, I took art classes for years. I took for like 10 years when I was little. Then for four of those years, I took anime art classes just for Sailor Moon. Just because I was obsessed with Sailor Moon. So. It's like amazing that I didn't get seriously into anime. Like, it's kind of weird that I didn't. That's my like, I don't know. Interest change, you know. And none of my friends were into it, so... Like now, kids love anime, but... Back in the 90s and early 2000s, at least where I went to school, it's like... People thought I was weird. <laughs> They're like, what's Sailor Moon? And I'm like, what's Sailor Moon? I must tell you about it! <laughs> I was that kid that would always talk about shit and nobody cared about. That's probably why I started a YouTube channel, because now I can talk about stuff that all you guys care about. So I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> but yeah, back when I took my anime drawing class, it was called Japanimation. Nobody calls it that anymore. Remember when it was called that? It's not funny. I totally forgot about that. Who was my favorite scout? Sailor Venus. Yeah, RavenCon. I got a lot of hidden secrets. <laughs> not really. That's pretty much it. Here, Zero Suit Boshi, what's up? I remember um, there used to be, what was it called? I don't know if it's still in publication, but there is a, um, a, um, anime, um, catalog, like, magazine. And I think it was called Japanimation USA or something, like a horrible title. And I remember my favorite part, I just like to look at the drawings people submitted. Like, I didn't read it, I just looked at that. <laughs> That's what I liked to do when I was like six years old, seven years old. <laughs> America, yes, that one. Thank you, John. Wow, I haven't thought about that in years. I should text my mom right now and be like, remember that? And she'd probably be like, yeah, I remember it. My parents were, oh my god. They took me to Anime Expo two times in a row when I was seven and when I was eight. So this was like in the 90s. 
and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I, I got them to do that. I like apologize for it <laughs> one time. I don't know where I was like, hey dad, I'm like really sorry. Because I had a flashback to him going like, I was with him and he's like, okay, we're not going down this aisle, you know, because stuff's like not appropriate. <laughs> and I'm like, thanks so much for doing that. My parents are good people. <laughs> And I remember it would always be on like 4th of July or like that weekend. I still have one of my badges. It says like child ticket Aaron on it or something. I should find that. I feel like people would think that's funny. Now Anime Expo sounds like all kinds of crazy shit goes on. It's like not my element. I don't know what I'm doing. I just went because I was like, oh I like Sailor Moon and like Totoro and stuff. So I went for those reasons because, you know, I was a little kid. I didn't know about anything else. I was looking at Sailor Moon toys last night on eBay because I couldn't sleep, like, and I had so many, like, I was like, oh my god, I used to have that, or like, I still have all my Sailor Moon stuff, I just gotta find it. Because I, I can find most of the dolls and stuff, but there's some things I have yet to find, like, there's somewhere in my parents' house. But I just remember going, oh my god, I remember getting this at Anime Expo, no, I fell all the way down. <laughs> Hey, Jingle Bell Rainbow. Is this Erin plays Erin? Oh, because she has red hair. <laughs> Did I see cosplay there? I don't remember that being a thing. I feel like people didn't really dress up back then. I think, I mean, from what I saw, I could be wrong. I mean, I was really little, so I, was, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't looking at things. But I feel like with social media now, everybody dresses up and shit. But I feel like... I don't know, I didn't really notice people dressing up that much. Sailor Neptune is great. She's adorable. There were even furries in the 80s. Yeah, there probably was cosplay, I just, I don't remember. Silas is playing punch out right now. Well, good luck, Silas. What is the tattoo on my left arm? It's an ice cream cone with um candy canes. I used to want more tattoos and I'm kind of like over it now. Like I forget I have the ones that I have. But like I used to want, um, whoa, this is, hold on, what's over here? I haven't been over here. Ah, oh, shit, so that's a trap. Um, unless I'm missing something, I feel like that I shouldn't have taken that power up. Anyway, um, I used to want, when I was 18, I really wanted, uh, you know in Mario 64, the stained glass Princess Peach? Like, I wanted that right here, and I wanted, um, um, a Disney land tattoo that I drew up, and now I'm like, eh, I don't know. Like, maybe I'd get another one someday, but I don't think I want anything big. But yeah, I got the tattoo on my back when I was like 18, and then I got this one I think when I was like 20. Aaron get a sleeve tattoo? No. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Photon. What tattoo would you get, Enchanted? <laughs> Mario 64 would be a nice stream to watch. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I haven't played that since, like, it's been a long time. I played it I know in high school I played it, and then I played it again, like, right after that, like, maybe when I was 20, I think was the last time I played through it in its entirety, and I miss it. I was obsessed with that game as a kid. I played so- Mario 64 was, like, 
the thing I played the most. That and Yoshi's Story on N64. Those were like the two games I was obsessed with. Thank you so much, New Wave Junkie, for subscribing for 17 months. Thank you so much. A Vectrex tattoo. That would be cool. I should just get like a little Vectrex with a heart. That's what I would get. <laughs> That's cool, John. <laughs> is it- how weird is it gonna be? When s Whoa. How weird is it gonna be when somebody gets a tattoo of me, says Triumph Shockwave. Well, that would be really weird and no one's gonna do that. That would be insane. Don't do that. Nobody do that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hexergrex, for subscribing for 11 months. Thank you very much. Thanks for supporting the streams and the videos. Hey, Fuzzy2k. You used to play Mario 64 while listening to the Space Jam soundtrack? Oh my god. See, I used to play Mario 64 while listening to Aqua and the Spice Girls. And it was great. Hey, Gingery Buddha. Thank you very much for the bits. GoldenEye 64. Yes, I have a lot of memories playing that. I played that mostly. I didn't get GoldenEye until middle school or high school, I think. And I, I remember like playing it with like four people. Like my friend had it when I was younger, so I'd play it there. But I didn't own it till like probably around then. Shit! Why am I suck- I'm not- ugh. This is not good. This is a very bad stream. That's awesome, John. Yeah, um, Everdrives are great. I don't have an N64 Everdrive yet, but I need one. I need to buy one. Daft Punk, that's cool. Am I excited for Ghostbusters Afterlife? I'm not a big Ghostbuster person. Like, I like the first movie, but, I mean, that's cool. <laughs> I did play Banjo-Kazooie on N64, and you're probably not gonna like what I'm gonna say. Thanks for hanging out, Anna. Anna Gosan. Um, I rented it. It was always sold out, like, to rent. And I finally rented Banjo-Kazooie. And I couldn't get into it. And so I was like, okay, maybe... And then because people at school would be like, oh, it's, they loved it. So I'm like, oh, well, you know, let me try it again. So then I rented it again, and I still didn't get into it. But that being said, I haven't played it since then. So I haven't played it since I was a kid, so maybe now I might like it? Oh, shit! No! No! So I don't know. I would try it again. Because I know people love it. And people go, oh, well, if you like, you know, uh, Mario 64 so much, you should like that. So I'm like, okay, I mean, maybe, maybe adult Aaron. Because when I was, like, younger, I just liked Mario games. Like, I had Star Fox 64. I sucked at it, but I liked it a lot. But, um, I pretty much just played all the Mario stuff. Um, some of the Disney games, like Lion King and Aladdin. But it was pretty much, you know, I would just play the same games, like, over and over again. Because it's not like, it's not like now. I feel like kids now have a ton of games. I didn't have a ton of games, you know. Shit's different. And I think people forget that. Kids now- Oh, shoot! My brain is not going good today. <laughs> this is- I probably shouldn't have streamed, but I was like, I didn't stream yesterday, I need to stream. And it's a mess. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is gold. Well, I'm glad you think so, Grungers. <laughs> Thank you, Gamer Babe. Thanks for watching. Oh, Zero Suit Boshi, you couldn't get into Banjo-Kazooie either? Oh, wow, John. Okay, so there's a lot of people. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You know how sometimes, I don't know, I've, I've talked about this before. It's like some days I'm like good, I'm like on, meaning like, okay, I'm energetic, I can talk, and I can play the game at the same time, and it's great, it's a good energy. And then there's sometimes where I'm like, I feel boring or like there's nothing to talk about or I feel like I'm just saying random shit that's stupid 
I mean, I'm always saying random shit that's stupid, but you know what I mean. And then it's like, I just can't play a game at the same time, and I'm just like, <sighs> and it's one of those days where I'm just like, not happy <laughs> with it. So, thanks very much for hanging out and watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you, RavenCon. And I'm not doing that to, like, fish for compliments or anything. I'm just, I'm just explaining my headspace right now. Like I was saying earlier, I feel like now I have so many ideas for videos and stuff. I'm like, oh, that's easy to film. But then when it comes to streaming, I'm like, oh god, when am I going to stream? But then it's like, Aaron, you have so many things that you want to stream. Like, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> and then I just got to kind of talk myself down. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Have I played the Super Smash Bros. games? I've only played, really, uh, the, N the N64 Smash Brothers game. And I'm not very good at it. Um, I played a little bit of the new one on the Switch, a tiny bit, for like five minutes at a friend's house. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not good at fighting games. And I feel like now everyone is so competitive with Smash, like everyone's great at it. It's like intimidating, because I'd just be sitting there going like, eh. I don't know, maybe I play it with Mike sometime. Thank you guys for being so awesome and supportive. <laughs> I appreciate it. <gasps> Thank you so much, Dodo99, for subscribing for two months. Thank you very much. Mug Monster says, I liked the original Smash 64 when it was just a party game. I hate the competitive scene. Exactly. I like when it was just like... Like, when that came out, like, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, so it's, like, a fighting version of Mario Party, which I know doesn't make sense, but I kind of, it was kind of, like, the same type of game for me. I'd be like, oh, there's people, let's play, you know, I was like, let's play Mario Party or Smash, and it was, like, fun. But, and yes, it can still be a party game. Um, but yeah. Like, I'd play it with Mike, or somebody, like, I'd play it with somebody I'm comfortable with that won't judge me. But it's been so long, and I lost my copy. Um, so, my N64 game, I don't know where it is. I don't know if somebody borrowed it and never gave it back, or what. So, I haven't played any Smash games in a very long time. <laughs> so. <sighs> okay. This is like an awkward... Okay, there we go. so much, Savage. Yeah, it sucks, games. Like, some of my vinyl records, like, when I was moving, I was like, I know I own this. What happened to it? And it's like, just shit just disappears. Oh, that's cool. If I could get them both on the same side. Uh, for a minute, I thought I had something going there with both hands on the same side. Because then it's easier to hit both. Instead of running back and forth. Ooh, see, like this? I can hit them both at the same time. It's great. Ah, that one looks like Polly Pocket. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. The only vinyls I have are all Taylor Swift albums. Is that why your name's Enchanted? If so, that's awesome. <laughs> Polly Pocket. You don't remember Polly Pocket? Polly Pocket? I said Polly Parkett. <laughs> Polly Pockets. There we go. But, um, yeah. I don't know what I was saying. 
Oh my god, that sucks, Fuzzy 2K. He says, I lent my friend a copy of Metroid 2, and when I asked for it back, she said, oh, I lent it to my cousin. See, that's bullshit. That's what, so, <laughs> on um, the first Pokemon game, on um, Game Boy, I had the yellow version. No, 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 I had the blue version. And when I was really little, it was like, I wouldn't say no to people. I was very shy, like just a social nightmare. And this kid, and like everyone would bring their Game Boys to the park. Like we'd ride our bike or whatever. And then um, this kid's like, oh, can I borrow it? And I said, yes. And then I couldn't find him. And then I found out, they're like, oh, he went to Korea for six months. So this motherfucker took my game to Korea, and I never saw him again. And then my mom felt bad, and she bought me another one, so then I got Pokemon Yellow. But, so I get it. I understand. <laughs> I was like, god damn it. My mom was like, why are you giving, I'm like, I don't know, I didn't want to be me. <laughs> but yeah. So that was a lesson, like, it was just kind of like, you know, and then she's like, you don't have to, like, give people stuff, like, you know. But I was little. I was in, like... That was 5th grade, I think. 5th grade that came out? 4th grade? 5th grade? But yeah. And it, and it sucks because he was like a little bit older, so I think he knew what he was doing, so he was just being an asshole. But whatever. Shit happens. I forgive, but I don't forget. <laughs> this level again. I am just, oh my god, this is sloppy. Fucker. Mm. Ah! This is, you know how terrifying this would be in real life? Having all these giant bugs attack you? Like they're all coming for you. Like they all are like violently coming at you. That'd be terrifying. Oh, so you're the one with the Taylor Swift fan account. I think I know who you are on Twitter. Yeah, I just remember like my mom was like, oh, we'll get it back. And then we like went to um, like, cause like all the kids would like from the neighborhood would play at the park. So then I remember I knocked on his door like with my mom and then his sister's like, oh, he's in Korea. And I was like, great. So that, that is my sad Pokemon story. I'm really sorry. I was going to take a really quick break and I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Alright, let's keep trying again. Thank you, Zero. Thank you so much, Fuzzy2k, for subscribing for five months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Hmm. I hate this level. Fucker. That cat looks so, like, scared. He's like, oh god, we gotta get away. This is on normal. She got shrunken down in the last cutscene. We saw that she got shrunk down and now she's riding a cat. But since I can't read Japanese, I have no idea why she got shrunk down, but that's what we're doing. And I'm guessing, but the bugs are still very big. Like if the cat is normal size, I feel like these bugs are monsters. And the birds are very small. It's a strange world we're in. That was dumb, Aaron! Aaron writing a cat. Yep, this is my game called Tiny Aaron Giant Cat Frustration Overload. I hate these hornets. Sorry, my mind was like thinking about something else. And I'm quiet because this is hard.
Mm. <sighs> All right, guys, I think I'm done for the night. But thanks so much for hanging out. Um, I will be back again very soon with something else. I'm just, I'm a little worn out. But I like this. I do want to keep playing it on my own. I'm going to take a picture of the password. Not like it's hard to get to this part. The part that's hard is this level. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do next. Hey, E-Tank. Sorry you guys, sorry you came right when I'm leaving. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for street, for hanging out with me. Hey, Duo. Now there's people here. <laughs> I mean, there's been people, but you know what I mean. I can't talk, so that's probably for the best that I'm stopping. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging out. It was fun. It was fun talking. Bit of a mess, but it was fine. I'm gonna stop talking. All right, bye. Have a good night. <laughs>